गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस वीडियो फॉर क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट स्टडी वी कम्प्लीटेड फाइव पॉइंट वन आई ऑब्जर्व दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास टेंथ आर नॉट गोइंग थ्रू द वीडियोज प्रॉपरली सो प्लीज प्लीज स्टार्ट व्यूइंग दिस वीडियोज एंड ट्राई टू गेट द आइडियाज सो दिस इज द ओनली मीन थ्रू विच वी कैन कम्युनिकेट कम्प्लीटिंग वर्क इज नॉट अ मैटर यू शुड लर्न ऑल्सो प्लीज लर्न इट वन बाय वन and try to complete the exercise yourself and get the hint from these videos so today we are going to start the solution of quadratic equation which we have done in class 9th also so we will continue this topic solving quadratic equation by using factorization so first question is 4x square is equal to 3x so for factorization what you have to do 4x square minus 3x i shifted from right to left now x is common so it will be 4x minus 3 it is 0 now we have zero product rule zero product rule means two factors are equal to zero so individually each factor is equal to zero so here this is the first answer over here because x the value of x is zero but here x if you are finding it will be 3 by 4 so this is your second answer so these two are called solutions of the quadratic equation and these two are called roots of the quadratic equation now look at the second part of this question x square minus 5x upon 2 equal to 0 so i cross multiplied so 2 into 0 it is 0 so here x is common x minus 5 by using zero product rule first factor equal to 0 second factor equal to 0 so it will give two answers first answer is x equal to 0 second answer is x equal to 5 so in this question this is question number 2 first part here we have to directly apply the apply the zero product rule two factors are given equal to 0 so first factor equal to 0 second factor equal to 0 i got the answer x equal to 3 and x is equal to minus 5 by 2 now look at the another part of this question in this question x into 2x plus 1 equal to 6 student note down this question this is very important question we cannot apply the direct la zero pro zero product rule because the product of these two factors is not equal to zero so we can't apply this x is equal to 6 and 2x plus 1 equal to 6 it will give the wrong answer so what we have to do we have to multiply inside the bracket it is 2x square plus x minus 6 means always right side should be zero now this form is a quadratic form and now we have to i uh, find the factors by using a middle term split method so 2 into minus 6 multiply it will be minus 12 so we have to find two factor which give the product minus 12 and the difference is 1 because the coefficient of x is 1 here so here i have chosen 4 and minus 3 so 4 is this x can be written as 4x minus 3x minus 6 equal to 0 so 2x is common so it will be x plus 2 here minus 3 common so x plus 2 x plus 2 into 2x minus 3 equal to 0 so here we can apply the zero product rule because the right side is zero so first factor will give the result minus 2 and the second factor will give the result 3 upon 2 student look at this third question first part it is x square minus 3x minus 10 equal to 0 so this minus 10 can be written as minus 5 into 2 because i need a minus sign so that's why the bigger number getting a minus sign it will be minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 equal to 0 here i made the grouping of this two part so x is common x minus 5 2 is common x minus 5 x minus 5 is common overall it will be x plus 2 now applying the zero product rule first factor equal to 0 second factor equal to 0 x is 5 x is minus 2 are the two answers of this particular question question number 3 first part now student one uh, important question i want to discuss i want to share with you this is seventh question first part x minus 4 whole square plus 5 square equal to 13 square in this question i can apply a minus b whole square formula then simplify it then the quadratic form and then we are we can solve it but we can solve this question by the help of another method also you see uh, here what i did x minus 4 whole square i have not opened but this 5 square i have shifted in right side so it will give 144 
and x minus 4 is equal to plus minus under root of 144 it is coming plus minus 12 so it will give the value x minus 4 equal to 12 x minus 4 is equal to minus 12 so x is giving 16 answer and x is giving minus 8 answer so this method we applied in class 9th also but we should always emphasize not to use such type of method we should use the f f uh, method which is related to factorization if they ask okay so you should avoid to do the questions through this method so rather than this method you should apply a, a minus b whole square formula here then 25 then 169 then shift it in the all in right to left and then make a square plus b square plus uh, a, a x square plus b x plus c form then get the factors and get the answers x equal to 16 and x is equal to minus 8 so I want to discuss one more question with you. This is x square minus 4x minus 12 equal to 0 and x belongs to natural number. Means our answer should be the natural number only. So I factorized it. I got two, um, two factors applying 0 plus 2. I got two answers x minus 6 equal to 0 and x plus 2 equal to 0. So x equal to 6 and x is equal to minus 2. But x minus x is equal to minus 2 is not a valid answer because it is not a in, uh, natural number. So our answer is x is equal to 6 only. Okay. So like this conditions can also come. So student take the hint from these questions and uh, do more and more questions and mark the question which you are not able to solve in your copy only. So you can when the contact classes will be there you can ask the questions. Okay. So continue this. Thank you very much.